People in Yankton are grieving the deaths of five people killed in a 4th of July head-on crash. For the first time, we're hearing from law enforcement about the emotional toll his tragedy has taken. The police chief tells us a traffic violation prompted officers to pursue the suspect vehicle on Highway 50 east of Yankton, but the driver turned off the headlights and veered into the opposite lane, crashing into a car with four members of a Yankton family inside, killing three of them. Kelly Perry Groton also spoke to a woman who heard the tragedy unfold. Rochelle Lundquist thought the loud noise she heard Wednesday morning was just some 4th of July celebrating. I had gotten up in the middle of the night to go get something to drink, and I heard a loud, loud boom. It just sounded like a loud firework. But when Lundquist went out to check, she realized that loud boom was the impact from the head-on crash on Highway 50. Debris was spread everywhere. It hit so hard that it blew that the engine of the car got just completely torn out of the vehicle. So, Yankton Police Chief John W. Harris was part of the law enforcement responding to the scene. Those things will be uh, burned in your mind for a long time to, to, to come. You know, you never forget them. The crash claimed three members of a Yankton family. Another child in the car was airlifted to Sioux Falls with life threatening injuries. Its impact will be felt throughout the community. Well, I've been in contact with the school district talking about. You know, there may have some trouble. And the good thing is, is school's not in session right now, but still it has impact long term on some of those people because you have students that are, are impacted by that. The sheer number of people killed in this crash only adds to the magnitude of this tragedy. You know, it, was a, it was a pretty uh, horrific scene out there. You know, when you look at that, you had that many people uh, deceased in, you know, parts of cars and stuff all over the highway. and. You know, you just absolutely, it has impact on you. As the highway patrol investigates the crash, people grieving are seeking both comfort and answers as to why this tragedy occurred. In Lincoln, South Dakota, Perry Groton, Kelloland News. The highway patrol still has not released the names of the people involved in the crash. Police officers who responded to the scene are receiving counseling, including a follow-up session that took place tonight.